Hello, this is Lenny, aka Meteor from Milton, back with another Fortnite Save the World video. In this video, we're going to be going over expeditions and why you should start running them as soon as possible if you're not already doing so. To find expeditions, navigate over to the Command tab, click on Heroes, then go to the bottom, click Expeditions. Right now, you'll see that I have a little box with a three there. That means I have three expeditions that have finished, so let's see what I received from my expeditions if they were successful. First expedition, Temp Help. Temp Help gets you people resources. People resources are used to transform objects uh, into, they're used for the survivor transform, the hero transform, and also for running other expeditions. You can also get people resources by saving survivors. So if you do rescue the survivors missions, you can get up to 120 ish something like that i mean normally you're going to get between like 80 and 100 if you save most of the survivors so for this one we're probably going to get okay we got 20 so the rescue the survivor the sorry the expeditions for temp help give you anywhere between 10 and 30 people and that usually only takes one hero to run those and i, I pretty much run them every day just to help um supplement the people resources i'm getting from playing regular missions Second mission, or second second expedition, Warcraft. Success, nice. So Warcraft's one of the Red Toolbox um, expeditions, and the Red Toolbox expeditions typically give you crafting resources. So we got some duct tape, some rotating gizmos, batteries, and then to the good stuff, we got 42 bacon, some coal, blast powder, adhesive resin, nuts and bolts, this this expedition can give anywhere from like a hundred up to I've gotten over six hundred nuts and bolts when it um as like a crit or a jackpot whatever do you want to call it some rough ore flowers some planks and then forty seven fiber serves now this is another one like this the fiber serves can vary wildly but typically I get about a hundred from Warcraft so this was actually a lower one I think I've gotten over two hundred maybe three hundred once then we got active power cell some twine mechanical parts and char black obsidian fine grain and quartz so that gave me a, that gives you a pretty good chunk then the last one i ran was a cliffhanger and it succeeded okay cliffhanger is one of the the brown wooden crates so these normally give you stone metal and wood in some combination and some with uh the very i think the uh, values differ it's usually about 250 to 300 so this obviously gave i think the the stone obviously critted the main thing the main reason i run these is they give you a lot of mineral powder and mechanical parts so mineral powder otherwise you're gonna have to sit there and break rocks to get it or maybe you get lucky and some hush drop them or you find them by searching <clears throat> mechanical parts you can also get those from breaking um cars parking meters appliances anything that's like a metal metal object could possibly give you mechanical parts then we got some more stuff some uh a little bit of xp so if you want to we want to look at them real quick <clears throat> there's a couple different kinds of expeditions let's start at the top so the ones that have wood brick or i'm sorry stone and then i think that sometimes there's ones that have metal they're pretty much just going to give you whatever the object is there so it'll just give you this one will mainly give wood i don't usually run those because it's not hard to farm wood trap expeditions i do not normally run because they normally just they just give you like random traps and they're not usually that great temp help again i usually run that and the power level doesn't seem to really matter on this one it can it doesn't matter if it seems to be like a power level 80 up to 100 it just randomly gives between 10 and 30. So you're gonna get a probably, I guess you're, you're normally gonna get 10 or 20. Every once in a while you get 30. Then we have the wooden boxes. The wooden boxes, again, they give you, the main reason to run those is they're gonna give you, they seem to give mineral powder and mechanical parts. <clears throat> so if you need mineral powder and mechanical parts, run these. The ones with the backpacks give you survivors. Again, these are, these don't, typically give that much i mean i guess if you're if you're short on survivors or you need need survivors to 
use for transforms or for the retiring for XP. You could run these. I don't normally run them, but I know some people do start running them uh, as soon as they start playing the game. Red toolboxes again. So we have lightning and plunder. So lightning and plunder is the only one right now. And these are completely randomly generated. So there's like lightning and plunder. There's Fortnite run. There's Warcraft. They have different power levels. The higher the power level, the more, the more stuff you're going to get. The more heroes and the higher level heroes you're going to need to have it get a chance of success. And like I said, this one is really good if you're looking for fiber serve, bacon, and nuts and bolts. So I did, I've done a half dozen or so, or about a dozen or more of these. And it's normally giving around like 50 bacon, 100 fiber serves, and about 300 nuts and bolts. And it, it varies depending on, I, I think it's just complete RNG what, what you actually get out of it. But if you are if you need fiber serve or bacon, run these. It'll definitely help supplement your farming, especially if you don't like farming. And again, if you need mechanical parts or mineral powder, run the wooden boxes. And what you'll see is the further down we go, so the cliffhanger is more likely to give, the higher the power level, the, the higher tier you're going to get. So this will give tier four, which would be char black or sleek mechanical parts. This would probably be about the same. This might be this is more likely you're not going to be fine grain mineral powder and sturdy mechanical parts. And then as we go further down, it's going to get it's going to get lower and lower. So when you start the game, you're only going to have access to lower power level ones. The higher your power level goes, and the more slots you unlock, the better. That is another thing. So let's say let's just say I'm going to pick this one. Um, I have no idea why that's in there. Must be a bug. All right, so right now I have this is I have all the slots unlocked. When you start the game, you're only gonna have you're only gonna I don't even know if you have any expeditions. Honestly, when you start the game, you may have some, and it might only have one slot. But as the further you progress, the more slots you're gonna open. More slots means you can slot more survivor. I mean, more heroes, and the more heroes you put in there, and with the higher levels, the more likely you are uh, to have success. But one thing that a lot of people don't know is right now this is set to dirt bike, which you can see up at the top. But you can, well, my controller. If I press the right stick down, it's going to open it up and allow me to select truck. Truck has more slots. So if it's a higher power level mission, you want to run the truck. I normally run dirt bike for the temp help. So like right now, I'll just run this and then I'll just pick. And also one thing you want to look at the left uh, slot bonus is Outlander. So for this, the Outlander is giving, instead of it giving, this is this Outlander is a 106. Instead of it getting 106, it's getting 159 because of the bonus. This one's a 130. Instead of getting 130, it's getting 195. So it just increases the chances. So you definitely want to look for those bonuses when running them. But I think we can get away with running probably like an 82 to get this at 100%. Oh, no. We need somebody that's about 100. So I'll just pick somebody I don't normally use. Slot him. Start the expedition. Done. And that's about, what is that, 8 hours? They're normally 8 or 6. This one's 16 hours. So they last anywhere between 8 and 16 hours. Other trucks, um, I'm not going to run any of these because this is just too low level. But I have been running the helicopter missions. I've been running Cliffhanger a lot lately because Cliffhanger seems to be giving a fair amount of um, char black and sleek. And again, like it defaults to the prop plane, but you can open up helicopter, which has four slots. This one does not have any bonuses, so I'm just going to slot the four highest levels that I have. Of characters that I'm not normally using so I have a 70% chance of success and if you look in the bottom right corner you're gonna see this takes 40 people to run and it uses research points so if you're really grinding trying to level up your research you might not want to run these but I definitely I this it I would definitely recommend start running these as soon as possible I started running them on my second account and I never have I never have to farm I pretty much always have tons of fiber syrup uh, bacon planks, mechanical parts, mineral powder, like I never, I really don't even have to farm, which is awesome. So we're going to start that, and let's see, this one takes, so this one takes a little bit longer, it's 22 hours. The higher the power levels normally take about 20, I think they're, are they all 22 hours? 22 hours, yeah. So the higher levels are, they're longer. So one thing you want to definitely consider is it will tie up your heroes. So if I go to my heroes tab, you'll see they're grayed out and the only way to access them is to cancel the expedition so be mindful of which heroes you're going to be running that day and definitely like level up the sooner the better level up a few heroes just to get them higher level the higher level the better 
because I'm and very soon I'm gonna just gonna start grinding hero XP and getting as many of these to 130 as possible just so I can increase my chance of getting close to 100% success and also being able to run more expeditions because it saves a ton of time on farming so rather than running around maps farming in a private server I can pretty much just run expeditions and then while I'm doing my normal missions just search a couple plants here and there open any chests that I see break a couple rocks or trees along the way and easily never run out of materials if we look at my what do I have right let's see backpack right now without doing hardly any farming lately actually I don't think I've actually I've not run any farming missions in probably a couple weeks I right now I have 693 sleek mechanical parts tons of the twine because that's just very easy to get and what is that 905 char black and then in my storage I have a thousand char black a thousand bacon 1400 fiber serbs and almost all of that is exclusively from running expeditions and then I also have what do we have 5 15 18 so 3600 nuts and bolts in storage and plenty of nuts and bolts over here as well and again this is mostly from running expeditions like you saw some some of these expeditions give four five six hundred nuts and bolts which we would take you that would i mean you could possibly get that if you're just farming with a striker ac but it's much better to just run around and play it's much better to just do the missions and farm maybe for like a minute minute maybe per mission or while you're searching for the objective or just when you're clearing out the area around the objective and, and run expeditions rather than sit there and spend hours every day or every week running farming uh, missions or worse yet being in a public mission and farming which is the one thing you never want to see people do so anyway that's expeditions again you should as soon as you start getting access to them I would start running them as frequently as possible without restricting yourself on which heroes you can use because they will definitely make your life a lot easier and couple months down the road you'll you'll be very happy when you look in your armory and see that you have hundreds and hundreds of all these resources because you're getting so many of them from the expeditions and from your normal gameplay and you don't have to sit there like some people and spend hours and hours farming or even like the worst case scenario is trading like trading weapons or other resources to get <clears throat> the resources you need you can get everything you need by yourself I've never traded any resources or guns for resources with uh with random people occasionally i'll i'll swap some stuff with friends if i have like excess amounts and they have excess amounts but for the most part i get everything from expeditions and from just my normal gameplay again by doing the missions without actually farming so hope you enjoy this video if you would like to see more fortnite save the world videos make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications i post fortnite save the world videos frequently I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash MediocreMilton. Uh, Tuesday through Friday, sometimes on Saturdays. If you check out my channel, it has my schedule, which I update if I need to. And I do play with followers and viewers from time to time. So come on, check it out, and I'll catch you in the next video.